to Gary Gate behind. Stuffed it in! Tremendous goal! Gary Gate takes over the cage and stuffed it in! Throughout the history of college lacrosse, there are certain players that are remembered for their heroics in crucial playoff situations. Whether it was a timely face-off win, a huge save, or the game-winning shot, those players earned respect, and more importantly, the right to be called clutch. But what does being clutch really mean? Uh, to be clutch on a lacrosse field, that's uh, it's kind of a difficult question, but I think it's really all about just capturing the moment. Being clutch is usually a guy who's just pretty level-headed and he keeps his cool, no matter what you know the score is, how much time is left, and what stage it's on. I think it's the focus and being prepared to be sharp all the time. You know, most of the time when we talk about what clutch scores in lacrosse, it's the guys who have the ball in their stick at the end of the game. And that's what you're looking for in a, in a clutch athlete, somebody who's trying to put himself in a position to win the game, the kind of guy that wants to take that last shot. Watch it scores! It's over! In the last couple of decades, some players have stepped up and put their stamp on the game. You know, one of the guys, Ryan Boyle, I certainly always uh, admired tremendously because he could beat you with the ball feeding, he could beat you dodging, he could beat you finishing, uh, and always, again, uh, one of those guys who wanted the ball at the end of games. Mike Powell, it's another one, clearly, same kind of reasons. He's always there, always able to, you know, get a step on his man and, and create something for his team. Mike Powell has tied the game at nine! I would probably say Tillman Johnson just because um, how clutch he was in the playoffs when he was here. A third save! Tillman Johnson has entered the surreal world and... Jesse Schwartzman was a big one for, for us at Hawk, and he, he was a great goal and able to step up at the most important time. We all knew that when Jesse was going to play in the playoffs that, you know, Jesse, this is Jesse's time. I'd say Gary Gate. Uh, he's my idol, best player of all time. You know, we're playing 1988, the national semifinal game, we're down by a goal and I'm taking a dunk from behind, an air gate shot. You're down by a goal, you're trying something that's never been done before. If I was thinking, focusing on making a clutch play, it would never happen. Since Gary Gate graduated from the college game, there have been many great players, but none has been as deserving of a gate comparison than Duke's Zach Greer, who leads the current crop of clutch players. And there hasn't been a bigger clutch goal in recent years than Greer's last second game winner against Cornell in last year's NCAA semifinals. Oh, him and Cornell last year, and just over time playing with him, just see the plays that he makes, and you know, it doesn't seem that any situation really bothers him, and he really keeps his cool throughout the entire time. Carosa watches Chevelle Brett. Good Yeah, I think you're feeling pretty good about Brian Carroll these days, you know. Uh, you know, he, he is he's someone who now has begun to develop the kind of confidence that he's always looking to find his shot, you know. And so you feel like if he's in a good position and shooting the ball at the end, you like your chances to have a quality shot on the cage. Steven Brooks thought about a shot. Wide shoots, he scores! I just got the ball, took a shot, and then I scored. I just started screaming at the top of my lungs. And, Ten years since we won at home one, and it's about time we start getting good streaks rolling our way. I mean, it gives you a lot of confidence, but it also gives you a lot of faith in your teammates to uh, just find the back of the net when it's really needed. Just as in years past, it's not only scorers who are clutch. Talented goalies and face-off men play an integral role in postseason success. Whoever wins the face-off challenge usually wins the game. I think they're going to be huge. So now you've seen these clutch players, old, and new. Who's going to emerge as the hero this year in Foxborough? To find out, you'll have to watch this weekend.